more and more people learn how to use Canva and now it's harder than ever to stand out from the crowd. That's why I created this video to show you how to add a little bit of spice to your designs with Canva and it's super, super easy. So let's get started. So first up, let me start with just a regular page. Then you would add your own or a model picture. Again, you can use, you don't need Canva Pro for this, but if you do have Canva Pro, then you just have more options over here. So let's say we choose this model as an example, and we're gonna recreate the same look as here, but just with this model. So the first thing you're gonna notice is that I have a little bit of grain here, and grain is my favorite thing. So if you just type in grain, you're gonna get this nice texture, and then you can try different ones to see. I usually go to photos, and then let's see this one, for example. I'm gonna turn it around, because then it has more space for me to work with and we're gonna add it over here and add it over there and then we're gonna do the magic which is we're gonna reduce the transparency so at this point we need to choose whether we want our model to be black or white or with an image and if you don't like this grain again you just go and choose the next one so let's say you like this one better so we're gonna add it over here and we're gonna reduce the transparency as well now one thing i'm gonna mention is that you can actually get these grains additionally from what is here so again you don't need to use the pro version you could upload your own or you could get them from etsy so for example i have a gazillion of them and i actually sell this as a product in my shop so you would find more than a hundred different shadows and grains and crazy things so let me just give you an example so as you can see this one is a lot more dense than that one so that creates a different effect and i prefer this effect but this is up to you and then you can always change the color of the grain itself so we can go to image and we can reduce the the brightness of the grain and it immediately makes our image darker i like this kind of more of a moody look especially if i know that i'm gonna add text on top of it and then we can also increase the contrast if that's something we are looking for. If the grain has a different color, you can change the saturation. Again, you could also even add a different color, a different tint. So let's say we would add something like that. And we can always, instead of grain, you can actually make it blurry and add it as a shadow. One more I wanna show you as a grain instead of this one is the one that is has some space in the middle. So we would turn this around in a way where, where it's the most important thing. And in my case, I think it's the model. So we're going to expand this. And as you can see, it creates a nice uh, effect, but I do need it to be a little bigger. So it fits everywhere. So we make sure this is as big as we need it. So as you can see now, this part is a little bit more grainy and more mysterious. And then her face is more visible now we can change the color of this grain so again we can go to tint and change it to a different color if we want that we can also add a little bit of clarity if that's something we're looking for i'm going to reduce the brightness so we could do something like this we can always make it um, instead of having it color we can remove the saturation and in that case it's going to be black and white which i think works pretty well in this situation and we're going to reduce the clarity so this is the way it looks like right now and we need to remove the tint in case we want it black and white so this is how it looks like it has a little bit of that look and if it didn't have the look then you can you know you can play around with this and i would recommend playing around with this now i don't want it to be as harsh so we are going to reduce the transparency a little bit so again something that you need to work on and another thing i want to show you is we're going to reduce the transparency is we can actually make this blurry so then it's just a gradient over there so i think i like this look the best and we also were gonna make it uh, black and white so I'm gonna reduce the the saturation now this is the look I like because it has the model it has a little bit of the edge we can also play around a little bit with the transparency to see 
what it looks like you don't need to use this these specific ones you can always use the ones you find on canva so for example in this case to show you how it was created i added the noise uh i changed the picture to black and white so we can actually change the picture of the girl let's go back so i can move this a little bit uh, so I can access the image. So I'm going to click on the image and then here we can reduce the saturation and increase the contrast. So maybe not as strong, maybe something like this. And now we have the look. And now that I did that, I actually can make this a lot more visible. So we would go to image and we can, we as you can see, I already used all my brightness. In that case, what I can do is I can actually copy this and paste it again, and then it adds more of a mysterious look. And then all that's left is to add some text. So I'm just going to copy this because I'm guessing you know how to add text. In case you don't, don't worry, you can just click here and then add text from here. So as you can see, I have my magazine look and I also have a line to add a line. You just click L. So click on the design, click L and it adds a line. Very simple. And then I have some other, uh, this kind of sparkly look. So we can go to elements and here we can add sparkle. And then it has all these different kinds of images. I would be incredibly careful with these uh, and use them sparingly. And ideally I prefer to have, you know, a black and white image when I do use these because you can very easily make it look cheap. So we don't want that. Um, so I would only use it on one side, for example. So we're going to add it in the corner. So I'm not even going to add it as much as it's you see now. I'm going to actually move it to the side. And as you can see, this is the a little bit off sparkle, but not too much because too much. It really makes it look cheap. And, you know, a magazine look is not supposed to look cheap. I want to show you some other ones I've created. So this is basically what I did. I added the the grain and I added the sparkles. So if you uh, another one you want to know is bokeh. So as you can see, these ones, I would go to graphics and then here you have a few choices. Again, most of them are paid. Um, usually, you know, you need Canva Pro for this, but I think you can find some free ones. Let's try. So we're going to go to free, apply filters. As, as you can see, you can still find some free ones. They're not as nice, but you could still make them work. So let's try to make this one work for her. I'm not the biggest fan of what is in front of me, but what I can do is I can go to image, click uh, see all and then I can add blur and as you can see now it's not as visible and it's a little bit more realistic and we're going to decrease the transparency a little bit more so as you can see it's a little bit of something but not as crazy so this is one of the looks this is just the texture that I added to the girl this is another texture. So this this one I found on Canva. If you go to texture or grain, you will be able to find some from photos, some from uh, graphics. I usually go with uh, transparent. So especially from photos, I feel like, well, this doesn't really, not this one, but in the graphics, you can add a little bit of a color, for example, here. And that's, um, so I just added here and I could match it to your, her eye. So the way you would do that, you would click it over here, click plus, and then you would just color pick her eye makeup. And as you can see now it has a little bit of a pop. This one I found by searching for grain. And then I think it was in photos. So I don't remember specifically which one I, I used for this one. If you want this one particularly, let me know in the comments. So I'll find find it for you and I will send you the, the name. For this one, the way I did it is actually one of the elements that uh, you can find and buy from my shop. So it's this one. There's multiple colors for this, but even when you just apply this like that, you can still make a lot of changes in Canva. So for example, I can change the brightness. I can change the saturation. I can also change the color completely so we can match it to her uh, eyes. 
So you just change the tint and maybe add a little bit of warmth, as you can see. And now it's a little bit weird because it's on her mouth, so we don't want that. So we're actually going to move it a little bit and just make it bigger. And then you can always reduce the sides you don't want. So we're going to make it like that. And this is the look. And I like these because it helps you to make the text pop a little bit so if i delete this the text is less visible than if i have it on so i like that to make the text flow but also i'm not losing the model her eyes because i leave the space for her and as you can see this is the same one but basically once you buy this you can you get a hundred of them different ones but you can always flip them around as well and make them match your photo perfectly so we're gonna go back and then for this this is the same thing just everything removed saturation so basically this works as an image so you can go here and remove the saturation increase the brightness or decrease the brightness so in this case i increased the brightness in the next one here i decreased the brightness so as you can see you can create a lot of different looks in this one i added blur so i created this then go to image and then i just increase the blur and I think that these little things can help you create better Etsy listings as well. So for me, that's what happens sometimes on camera, as you can see, sometimes the image disappears, but don't worry, you just go back and it's going to reappear. Sometimes it happens. I don't know why, but it just happens. And then this one, this specific look, the cinema look, I want to show you exactly how to create it. So basically you have a model again. So we're going to find a model that we want to use. And it can be any model, it could be the same one. If I find the same one quickly, I'm gonna use her, but I don't see her. So we're gonna use this one, but it's the same thing. And then the most important thing is because we add something on top, we want to actually exaggerate the colors. So we're gonna to go to edit image and then we're gonna increase the contrast and saturation. Well, saturation, not necessarily, but the con contrast for sure. Kind of play around with the look. Now you don't see the final result yet, so don't be scared. We're gonna to go to uploads and I'm gonna just use one of the noise files that I have. So for example this one and it's still not loaded completely as you can see now it's loaded and then I decrease the transparency and now you can see the final look and now once I have that then I change this a little bit to match perfectly to the look that I want and another thing you need to keep in mind that I can always change the color of this so for example if it's too gray for me I can make it more black so this is the the look and the way it looks like so this is has like that movie moody kind of movie kind of look because it's a little bit darker and it also helps you to stand out and then obviously on top of that you just add your text and i usually like for this kind of look i like to increase the letter spacing because it also gives that kind of breath of fresh air and then so you can adjust the brightness of these things and basically that's the final look let me know in the comments if there's something that you're struggling with i personally really wanted to find out how to use noise in canva uh and i really it was very annoying for me that the gradients there weren't that many options that's why i created this specific product that for all my youtube watchers to all of you guys there's a 50 percent discount in the comments below thank you so much for watching let me know if you want to learn something else and see you next time